In the realm of timeless TV classics, there exists a hidden gem that effortlessly bridges the gap between laughter and history, whisking us away to a World War II prisoner of war camp where the most unconventional heroes orchestrate their daring escapades. Ah, uh, yes, the year was 1965 when Hogan's heroes first graced our screens with its quirky charisma and impeccable wit. Can you recall the thrill of that initial encounter, where the clinking of bars and the whimsical camaraderie of Colonel Hogan and his spirited gang painted an indelible canvas of humor against the backdrop of conflict? Perhaps you remember the escapades of Sergeant Schultz, with his oft-repeated refrain, or the ingenious antics that played out within the confines of Stalag 13, leaving us both amused and contemplative. As the show danced delicately between jest and the historical gravity of its setting, it found a unique balance that made it not only uproariously funny, but thought-provoking in unexpected ways. But enough reminiscing, let's journey into the lesser-known crevices of this beloved series, where anecdotes and trivia wait like hidden treasures. Picture this, a cast of characters that inadvertently rewrote the book on comedy drama, a blend of reality and fiction that unfurled with an unmatched charm, and a legacy that continues to resonate with generations. Did you know that the show's creators deftly managed to craft a humorous narrative while grappling with the challenge of maintaining sensitivity towards the realities of the war? And what about the anecdotes that tell tales of camaraderie offsetting the seriousness of the subject matter? These nuances weave together to form the tapestry of Hogan's heroes, reminding us that even in the darkest moments, laughter can be the beacon of light that guides us through. So, let's delve deeper into the captivating trivia that makes Hogan's Heroes a show worth celebrating, as we unravel the threads of history and humor that have stood the test of time. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the show's unexpected impacts on popular culture, there's a treasure trove of information waiting to be discovered. Now, as we embark on this journey of exploration and nostalgia, let's not forget the laughter and camaraderie that endeared these fictional heroes to our hearts. Let the legacy of Hogan and his gang serve as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, a well-timed joke and a heartwarming bond can shine brighter than any barbed wire fence. So, without further ado, let's journey into the riveting world of Hogan's heroes, where history and hilarity converge in the most unexpected of ways. Prepare to be amazed, amused, and enlightened by the hidden facets of this iconic series. It's time to raise the curtain on the curtain call of anecdotes, stories, and trivia that have made Hogan's heroes an eternal favorite. Colonel Klink's prized possession, the mystery of the ornate helmet in Hogan's Heroes in the classic 1965 TV series Hogan's Heroes, which masterfully blended humor with the backdrop of a World War II prisoner of war camp. There's more to Colonel Wilhelm Klink's office decor than meets the eye. Amidst the comedic escapades and cunning schemes, a pre-World War I Prussian army pickle hob occupies a place of honor on Klink's desk, a cherished artifact with a touch of mystery. The ornate helmet, an emblem of the bygone era, stands as one of Colonel Klink's most prized possessions. Its significance, however, extends beyond the show's narrative, sparking curiosity among fans and history buffs alike. While it's tempting to believe the helmet is a genuine family heirloom, experts reveal that the one seen on screen is more likely a replica crafted by the props department. Devotees of the show may spot subtle differences between the prop and genuine Prussian pickle hobs housed in museums. Yet, these discrepancies don't detract from the helmet's allure. Rather, they add an air of authenticity to Klink's character, whose pompous and deluded demeanor contrasts amusingly with his supposed historical artifacts. Today, the iconic helmet, along with Hogan's own Army Air Corps cap, resides in the Liberty Aviation Museum in Port Clinton, Ohio. These tangible remnants of the show's legacy transport visitors into the world of Hogan's heroes, offering a chance to marvel at the craftsmanship and artistry that brought the series to life. As the years go by, the ornate helmet remains a testament to the show's attention to detail and commitment to blending history with entertainment. Whether a true antique or a meticulously crafted replica, it symbolizes the fusion of fact and fiction that made Hogan's Heroes a beloved classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. So, next time you revisit the episodes of Hogan's Heroes, take a moment to appreciate the intricate backstory behind Colonel Klink's prized possession.
It's a reminder that even within the laughter and lightheartedness, there's a touch of historical intrigue that keeps us engaged. Hogan's Heroes, and ever a war-weary laughter amidst strife in 1965. Amidst the turmoil of the 20th century, a television series emerged that defied convention and raised both eyebrows and chuckles. Hogan's Heroes, a comedic portrayal of World War II prisoners of war, garnered popularity for its audacious take on a serious subject. Little did viewers know, behind the laughter lay a cast with stories as poignant as the characters they portrayed. The show's character Sergeant Schultz, brought to life by John Banner, carried a backstory of resilience and determination. Fleeing Austria after the tumultuous Anschluss of 1938, Banner found refuge in the United States as a political refugee. Armed with little English, he embarked on a unique linguistic journey. Upon being hired to MC a musical review, Banner's lack of fluency forced him to grasp the language phonetically, gradually mastering the nuances of his lines. His dedication mirrored his character's famous refrain, I see nothing, I hear nothing, I know nothing. Interestingly, Banner was not alone in his wartime experiences and Jewish heritage. Werner Klemperer, Howard Kane, and Leon Askin, all contributors to the show, shared a common thread. Their Jewish roots intertwined with their participation in the U.S. Armed Forces during World War II. Klemperer, born in Cologne, Germany, and Banner in Asken, natives of Vienna, Austria, escaped the clutches of the Nazi regime, finding safe haven in the United States. Their personal histories added layers of depth to the camaraderie they portrayed on screen. As the series progressed, Hogan's heroes navigated a delicate dance between humor and history. Yet, its final season bore witness to an abrupt end. Despite its popularity, CBS chose to terminate the show. Amid the ongoing strife of the Vietnam War and a changing cultural landscape, the network deemed the comedic portrayal of Nazis and WWII POWs out of step with the times. The show fell victim to the rural purge, a network shift towards urban-oriented content. In the annals of television history, Hogan's Heroes remains an intriguing chapter. Beyond the uproarious gags and witty one-liners, the cast's personal stories, intertwined with a world at odds, lend a poignancy to the laughter. As viewers indulged in this unconventional comedy, they unknowingly bore witness to the embodiment of resilience, migration, and the ceaseless Werner pursuit Klemper's of laughter amidst adversity. Werner critique sheds light on Hogan's hero's offbeat humor in the realm of classic television. Few shows managed to strike a balance between wartime drama and slapstick comedy quite like Hogan's heroes. Amid the zany escapades and ingenious schemes concocted by allied prisoners, a notable behind-the-scenes revelation adds a layer of intrigue to the series' production. Werner Klemperer, the actor who masterfully portrayed the bumbling yet endearing Colonel Wilhelm Klink, once peeled back the curtain on the show's creative process. In a candid moment, Klemperer shared an anecdote that his father had quipped, your acting is fine on the show, but who writes this stuff? This amusing remark captures the peculiar nature of the series' humor, a blend of absurdity and wartime tension that raised eyebrows even in its time. As the saga unfolds in Stalag 13, viewers witness the antics of the prisoners and their interactions with the German captors. Notably, the character of Sergeant Schultz, famously known for his I Know Nothing. Catchphrase adds a layer of complexity to the dynamics. Schultz, portrayed by John Banner, stands as an odd juxtaposition of marital commitments and wandering affections. Married with five children, his flirtatious encounters with other women present a curious enigma that contributes to the show's comedic charm. Similarly, the character of LeBeau, portrayed by Robert Clary, possesses a mysterious marital status. Whether he's married or not remains a subject of speculation, adding an element of intrigue to his character development. While the show maintained a lighthearted approach to wartime captivity, its inception was not without its share of controversy. The original black and white pilot episode introduced a Russian character portrayed by Leonid Kinsky. However, Kinsky's discomfort with the premise of Nazi characters starring in a comedy led him to exit the series. This incident underscores the delicate balance the creators navigated in tackling World War II as a backdrop for laughter. Hogan's Heroes endures as a unique artifact of television history, blending unlikely elements into a tapestry of humor and wartime intrigue. Klemperer's candid remark, Schultz's dual commitments, and the unresolved mysteries surrounding LeBeau's marital status all contribute to the show's enduring appeal. 
In the ever-evolving landscape of television, the series remains a captivating testament to the art of finding laughter in unexpected places. As we bid adieu, it's fascinating to think how Hogan's heroes, like a hidden treasure buried deep within our hearts, continues to resonate across time. Each episode, a delicate tapestry woven with humor, camaraderie, and wit, invites us into the unconventional world of Stalag 13. It's a canvas painted with daring schemes, clever disguises, and the unwavering spirit of defiance against all odds. As you take a moment to reflect on the memories you've cherished, the laughter it's evoked, and the characters hove become friends, remember that Hogan's Heroes isn't just a show, it's a part of our journey, a connection that transcends screens and decades. Perhaps you've found yourself quoting Schultz's infamous I see nothing, I know nothing or marveled at the ingenious ways Colonel Hogan and his team outwitted Colonel Clink. Now, it's your turn to share. We invite you to reminisce about the moments that spark joy, the catchphrases that echo in your mind, and the anecdotes that have become part of your own story. Your thoughts are the missing puzzle pieces that complete this portrait of nostalgia and camaraderie. So, whether you've watched from the beginning or stumbled upon this classic gem later, your perspective matters. Join the conversation and celebrate the legacy of Hogan's Heroes, a show that continues to unite generations with its timeless humor and indomitable spirit. Thank you for allowing us to journey down memory lane together. Your time and interest are cherished, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Share your favorite Hogan's Heroes memories and stories, and let's keep the legacy alive.